Live from Music City, this is Nashville's News 2 at 10. And good evening. We're staying on top of that local breaking news alert out of Perry County. We have learned the sergeant shot at the National Guard armory there has died. And after an hours long manhunt, a person of interest was taken into custody just a short time ago. That shooting happened about 5 o'clock this afternoon at the armory located on Highway 13 in Perry County between the towns of Louisville and Linden, about 80 miles west of Nashville. Our Andy Cordan has been there all evening long. Andy, what can you tell us about the latest situation? Guys, this is the National Guard Armory behind me. Sadly, this is where a sergeant first class was shot in the chest and killed. And then a suspect fled out and ran to my left down this road. And there was a full-scale manhunt for him. And that's the way it was for four or five hours. And then around 9 o'clock, everything changed. The TBI came out, and they basically said they had a suspect in custody. Not arrested, but just in custody, a person of interest, somebody that they wanted to talk to about this, though they say they're not looking for anybody else at this time. We asked, well, where was this guy found? They said, well, he was in a nearby house. He didn't force his way in, so somebody apparently knew him and allowed him to come into the house. Very chaotic scene for multiple hours. Here's the way it looked. 7 p.m. Wednesday night. This is the scene outside the National Guard Armory. On the ground, law enforcement have highways 13 and 438 blocked off. Meanwhile, a chopper skims over rooftops, looking behind homes and into fields. According to officials, around 5 o'clock, a gunman reportedly enters the armory and fires off multiple rounds. A man is struck at least once. The sheriff's department confirms that he died from his injuries. While the search intensifies, neighbors are on pins and needles. They called the ambulance over there and we saw them bring somebody out and put in the ambulance. So we knew somebody was gravely hurt. This is a community of sunflowers and crickets. This doesn't happen <laughs> no, here. Just, What's going through your mind? And it's just, you know, craziness, you know. I mean, living just, just I mean... A thousand yards this way, you know, and there's a shooting right here that, that's possibly killed one person. You know, I've lived here for over 30 years and nothing like that's ever happened that I know of. Still don't know the name of the National Guardsman who was shot and killed, but we do know he was a 20-year vet. He was a sergeant first class. He was a readiness NCO. That means he oversees day-to-day -day operations. I asked, do you guys have video in this place that might have captured it? They said no. I asked, what about security here? They said, well, we take it seriously. The door was locked, so they're still trying to figure out how this gentleman or the shooter got inside. We can also tell you we asked about a motive. But they weren't going to speculate on that. Right now, a sad situation out here. Uh, we're in Perry County. We're live. We're sending it back to you in the studio. Uh, deadly shooting that happened at the Tennessee Guard Armory. That is out in Perry County. If you're not familiar, we we'll take you out there. It's out by the Tennessee River, of course, south of Interstate 40. And uh, the proximity on uh, 13, Hero 13, uh, pretty much just to the north of Linden. Um, and, and this is the actual armory. I think that's 438 coming in through there. We'll see if we can get some uh, labels there, labeled out as South Main Street on this one here. But Bethany Anderson has been talking with investigators and is in front of the armory this morning with the very latest on what we've learned. We're still working on confirming the identities of both the victim and the suspect, but take a look at the armory behind me. You can see there's still caution tape blocking off the area, and I know it's foggy out here, but there's actually a command center still set up across the street in that parking lot. That's the TBI. Now, as to what happened yesterday, here's what we can confirm. Take a look at the video here. You can see a very active scene. The sheriff's office, the TBI, police, multiple law enforcement agencies responding to this incident. And and helping out with last night's search for the suspect. Now, according to the Perry County Sheriff's Office, the shooting happened just after 4 p.m. yesterday. When deputies arrived, they found a man on the ground with a gunshot wound in his chest. Life flight took him to Vanderbilt Medical Center. That's where he later died. As for the suspect, authorities immediately began their search for him. They closed off the armory and the surrounding area. They asked neighboring residents to exercise extreme caution. They found the alleged shooter at around 9 p.m. last night. We spoke with the Armory. They said that they were actively working on this case and that their condolences went out to the family. Now, the last update we got from police is that the suspect is believed to be a teen, and uh, he's also a male at this point. We also know that they identified, they notified the victim's family, but they still have not released his identity. Reporting live in Perry County, Bethany Anderson, National News 2. Tonight, News 2's Nadia Ramdis is in Perry County with more on what we're learning about the suspect. Nadia? 
Well, we've just learned that the suspect may have been a troubled teen who was previously kicked out of school for a drug offense, and now he's facing a homicide charge. Heavy hearts remain for the men and women at the Perry County Tennessee Army National Guard after one of their own lost his life in a shooting Wednesday. We know that there's always a possibility when you raise your right hand um, in service to this country, but we never expect it here at home. Officials say an armed 15-year-old Christopher Farrar gained access into the armory Wednesday afternoon and fired several shots, one of them striking 45-year-old Michael Braden, a 27-year veteran of the Tennessee Army National Guard. The husband and father of three died soon after. It's unclear now how the teen gained access into the locked building. As we understand it, there was a second soldier here at the time of the shooting, but we don't believe that person in any way to be connected to what happened here. Authorities say the teen fled to this Lobelville home where he's staying with his aunt this summer. In addition to taking him into custody, investigators also recovered several guns from the home and now trying to determine if any of them were used during the shooting. Is Christopher behind this deadly shooting? Uh... I cannot say that he is. I, I can't believe that he would do this. Christopher's aunt, Rebecca Chambers, who asked not to be on camera, talked exclusively to News 2 about her beloved nephew moments after learning he was charged for the violent act. She says Christopher, who typically lives with his family in Adams, Tennessee, was spending the summer with her, helping with chores and caring for his grandmother, who has dementia. Chambers remember rushing home Wednesday evening after learning authorities named Christopher a person of interest. I'm not sure of the reason. Um... I just know that they said that he fits the description of a person that was seen. Chambers says Christopher has no affiliations with the Tennessee Army National Guard Armory, which is just down the street from her home. She says the family is cooperating with law enforcement with the investigation, but in the meantime, she has a message for the victim's family. This is something that came out of the blue, and I would never, never um, not want to express our condolences and our our prayers for that family. They're going through a very hard time. Our Talia Kaplan joins us live tonight from Perry County. Natalia, even though the suspect was apparently only living there for the summer, it sounds like everybody knew who he was. That's right. In this small town, everyone knows everyone. In fact, I found out today the victim and the suspect actually ate at the same restaurant here in town. Now, the victim, he was gunned down inside this armory behind me, a place you would think would be safe and secure, but turns out now it's surrounded by this crime scene tape. And everyone I spoke with here in town, well, they're just devastated. Welcome to Lobelville, population 1,000. Yeah, usually it's just quiet around here. But since Wednesday afternoon, it was a completely different story as investigators searched high and low for 15-year-old Christopher Farrar, who they say shot 45-year-old Sergeant First Class Michael Braden inside this armory. He's now in custody. Just don't seem like it should be real, you know. And it's the talk of the town, especially at this local hangout. They come in all day wanting to know what's going on. Jonathan Smith works at Harley's restaurant and says Sergeant Braden would often come in. He'd always sit at that table right there. He can't believe the man who devoted more than two decades to the Tennessee Army National Guard, the husband and father of three, won't be sitting here anymore. I really hate that it happened. He was always really nice, really polite, and whenever he'd come in here, he was always really nice to talk to. Smith says Farrar would come here too. Oh, we never had any trouble out of him. I didn't really think something like this could happen in Perry County. And knowing that it was actually somebody I'd went to school to, it makes it even more nerve-wracking. Carly Hensley met Farrar in the fourth grade before he moved to Adams, Tennessee. Hensley had no idea he was back in town staying with his aunt for the summer after investigators say he was kicked out of high school for a drug offense. He didn't show any kind of behavior like that when we were younger. Hensley says this town will never be the same. But we'll always remember this. Now, I looked up Farrar's Facebook page. He belongs to a Hail Satan group, and he actually posted on the group's page about two weeks ago saying he created a new group called Satanist where you can post evil things. We also spoke with his aunt today. She believes he is innocent. Live in Perry County tonight, Talia Kaplan, News 2 at 10. Thank you, Talia. Well, Governor Bill Haslam issued a statement today about the armory shooting. It says, quote, Sergeant Braden was the 27-year veteran of the Tennessee Army National Guard, and it's a tragic day when we lose a decorated hero who has served his country so well.